this video is not a debate on feeding or not feeding. You choose whichever way you want to go. But when you have a horrible fall flow, you have to feed. Here at Woolly Bees, we started off with one hive years ago. It gradually grew. Two years ago, I had 39 hives started doing open feeding with this little model six six jar feeder last year had 54 hives so I added this little jewel as you can see they're loving it because there is no fall flow this year there's a hundred and something hives here. So the latest creation, which I'll, obviously I do not have enough mason jars to go on, is what I'm calling the fuel rail. All of these jars have been filled twice today. As you can see, they prefer some jars better than others. A little space for them to fall down on. Some Luan from construction site to catch any drips. So we don't waste any. I tried the buckets. I do not like the buckets. If you get them just off center, all your feed runs out one side down on the ground. Did not like it. I tried a swimming pool. You'll see a previous video to that. Too many bees drowned. At least this way, only bees that die die of natural causes or the few that fight and kill each other. Just a little tidbit. It's how we feed here at Woolly Bees. You'll notice the sugar water is not sugar water colored I should say it has essential oils in it probiotics and vitamins and mineral solution all these girls lighting on me so they can get tanked up get ready to go have a great day it's woolly bees like and subscribe so you'll get a notification every time I put out a new video